good. <laughs> it's going to be a hot one, though. 91 degrees today. A lobbyist linked to three former state lawmakers is convicted in bribery cases. It actually could change his plea today. And the president of the Downtown Neighborhood Association reacting to the pending purchase of shot spotters. Six o'clock is your time. We were joking about songs from Annie because we have Annie here. And finally, we get rid of DJ. Yeah, that's right. She's taking over my responsibilities. They're going to help me out with some of my responsibilities here this morning. But she's going into the sixth grade. We're going to learn a little bit more about Annie later in the show. She doesn't have her mic on yet. We got to no, get her yeah. official here in a second. So okay. we'll, maybe she can help me out with some hometown hellos, maybe a little trending. Annie, is it early yeah. for you? Yeah. Very yeah. Right. A little bit early. All I can say is okay. nice to have somebody sweet sitting in this chair. Next I know. Time, right? Well, you know, uh, one thing that you got to start with, uh, your parents are here, and it doesn't matter because when you're on this desk, what we say goes, got to yeah. get some coffee. That's right. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Yeah. Got to start drinking coffee. Got to start strong this morning. <laughs> Let's get to local news that matters. More from DJ and Annie coming up this morning. The Arkansas Supreme Court will hear arguments on medical marijuana licenses. Earlier this year, a Pulaski County judge ruled the scoring process for cultivation facility applications was unconstitutional. The Medical Marijuana Commission has stopped reviewing applications for dispensaries because of this ruling. More than 5,300 Arkansans have been certified to buy medical marijuana. Arkansas is now a step closer to regulating the health care companies overseeing pharmacy reimbursements. The state's insurance department releasing the rules pharmacy benefit managers will have to follow. PBMs is what they're called. A law passed this year regulating PBMs is the first of its kind in the country. The insurance department will hold a public meeting next month before the rules go into effect next year. A change of plea hearing today for lobbyists linked to three former state lawmakers, all convicted in bribery cases. In February, Rusty Cranford pleaded not guilty to bribery charges in Missouri. Cranford is accused of giving kickbacks to lawmakers in return for state grants. The hearing is set for 10 o'clock this morning. A new lawsuit filed in Pulaski County accuses the Boy Scouts of allowing a sexual abuser to register as a scout leader. William Stevens says he was abused by his scout master, Samuel Otts, in the 1980s. Otts has a history of sexual abuse in Georgia. Stevens hopes the case will inspire others with similar experiences to come forward. We did not receive a comment from the Boy Scouts of America. People in Little Rock optimistic a new audio surveillance system will help make a dent in violent crime. The city board approved the purchase of Shot Spotter Tuesday night. The city will use grant and seized money to pay the nearly $300,000 for two years. I'm excited. A lot of our members in our association, they hear random gunshots. And so I think this will be comforting to know that there's some technology out there that will help pinpoint this and hopefully help solve the problem. The new technology should be purchased and installed in the next few weeks. After the trial, ShotSpotter will cost about $165,000 annually. Newly released surveillance video shows the chaos during the mass shooting at a concert in Las Vegas. Police released the video from a rooftop surveillance camera. You can see the outdoor venue empty as the gunman wow. shoots hundreds of shots into the crowd. 58 people were killed, more than 800 were injured in the October 1st shooting. 17 trees now stand near the Stoneman Douglas High School football field, honoring the victims of a February mass shooting. Yesterday was the last day of the school year in Florida. Organizers hope the trees help keep the memory of those victims alive. They plan to add lighting later on so the trees can even be seen at night. Springdale teachers already the highest paid in the state that will get a raise next year. The school board voted Tuesday to boost salaries by an average of about 1%. A starting teacher will make almost $48,000. That's the most in Arkansas. Teachers already in the district will get a $500 raise. Donations are helping to improve the North Little Rock Academy's vegetable garden. Former U of A quarterback Clint Sterner and his Dream Builders program presented students with $10,000 from United Healthcare. The donation will help the school grow in more ways than one, doubling the size of the vegetable garden and buying equipment. Obviously promotes healthy eating. First and foremost, uh, improves nutrition. These kids learn the lessons of, of growing something every day, the accountability, the responsibility. But at the end of the day, they're feeding the school. It's important that we do. The veggies grown in the garden goes to the students and their families. Good job, Clint Sterner. 6.04 is your time now. Uh, Pat, I really hope it's warm out because I can tell you I'm shivering in here. Well, there's an air conditioner on in here. That's why.
Yeah, it's too you should, I, I tell you what, you should come in, you know, like wear like long sleeve shirts and, and a coat over that and then you wouldn't be cold anymore. I do come in in a coat every day. Yes, she does. See, and we wear coats <laughs> while we're in the studio, so that's why she's cold, we're not, because we wear coats. Boss makes us, unfortunately. All right, we're looking at a nice clear sky, nice sunny sky here in central Arkansas this morning. Thunderstorms back in Oklahoma. They're going to stay back there, but over the next couple days, far west, northwest, and far north Arkansas actually have a chance of thunderstorms. But I've got to tell you, here in central Arkansas, our rain chance is close to zero for the next uh, few days. Now, there could be a pop-up shower storm, but our rain chance is way below 20%, just like today. But we're going to see the mid-80s by lunchtime, then 91, our high temperature this afternoon. But you know what? Yesterday, while a lot of the state actually hit the 90s, Little Rock did not. Just 89 yesterday. Camden and Mina both hit 95 degrees, but Little Rock still sitting at 89. Ukraine team weather impact numbers are one today and tomorrow, and that's for the heat. All right, the sun is up. It's a beautiful morning. Right now we're sitting at 69 degrees in Little Rock. We're going to keep warming up this morning. Eventually we're going to fly through the 70s, and we'll be those mid-80s by lunchtime. So Little Rock is 69, Russellville, Hot Springs both 67, Pine Bluff here at 66, and Searcy at 67. And this afternoon we'll have a high of 91 degrees. A south wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight. Clear down to 69, and then tomorrow... Saturday and Sunday, all days at 92. Rain chance, not even up to 20% through the weekend here in central Arkansas, but by next Tuesday, it finally reaches a 20% threshold. That's your weather on the forest. Now here's Natalie with your morning traffic check. Team traffic camera, I-30 and baseline. Not much going on here this morning. Sun is coming up and we're looking at overall a nice start to the day. Traffic wise again moving pretty smoothly across the area. Quick look everything green on our map this morning so that's good news right there. I'm going to have a look at where you need to watch your speed coming up here in just a little bit. Coming up student debt. We all know how frustrating it can be. It's now reaching an all time high hitting the trillions and later double digit Razorbacks taken in the Major League Baseball draft as those hogs prepare for the Super Regional. I'm going to hear from Dave Van Horn. Coming up. KARK4 News. Brought to you by McClartyNissan.com. Distracted driving is the leading cause of automobile accidents responsible for more deaths than drunk driving. FFO Home and KARK have partnered to challenge you to take the No Text Pledge. You can make a difference in many lives, including your own. Take the No Text Pledge and arrive alive. Do it for your family. Do it today. Go to ArkansasMatters.com to learn more about the No Text Pledge and how you can participate. Proudly sponsored by FFO Home. reviews are in. Come in now and see the beauty of the X-T5 for yourself. Get this low mileage lease on this 2018 Cadillac X-T5 for only $349 per month. This isn't just a beer. It's a lager. A medium bodied, amber colored, one of a kind beer. Made from those bold enough to brew it for those bold enough to drink it. Tap into your inner eagle. Yingling traditional lagers. Spread your wings. The lab's in the store. I got my glasses in a few hours. Why doesn't everybody do this? I walked in and out with my glasses an hour later. Just say no to waiting days for glasses. I watched them make my glasses in the store. I love saving money and time. At Success Vision, I got great prices and my glasses in the same day. Why doesn't everyone do it that way? Super. 
All right. Sometimes you got to give credit when credit is due. Kevin Durant, awesome game last night. Okay, that is what it is. But now, this is pretty impressive as well. An Ohio driver, lucky to be alive, but pulled off a very impressive feat. You can see the white, I'm not sure what car that is that he's driving, but he decided to take a stroll around town in reverse. And uh, you see traffic cams catch this feat. Um, and this just is, wasn't in a parking lot. He's on the interstate going backwards. What? Oh, yeah. I mean, and he, he, he pulled this off for a very long time. Impressive, yeah. yes. Stupid, dangerous, even more. Did he yes. get in trouble for that? Um, yeah, there was a... I think he ended up, you know, the cops approached him and they just told him, you know, don't do that next time. Pull over. <laughs> I guess his car wouldn't go and drive. The only way it would is go that what is it reverse. Is? <laughs> so he do had you to pull off. If you need to get somewhere and your car doesn't no. go and drive, is that what you do? No. no. You pull over. You Terrible. call an Uber. Yeah. I do. There's even more video of him, like, in the middle of traffic on the interstate. Yeah, this, this is he goes what you're like seeing now. He goes through, Yeah, it's yeah. nothing. Yeah, it's not giving it any justice. So, uh, but, yeah, I mean... I guess that it's impressive. He has some skills, but yeah, yeah. Uh, not safe. What do you think? Okay. Anyway, so, uh, hey, I know I like doing my town names here, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit because I got a special guest in the studio who's going to help me out. So I'm going to come on over. I want to uh, once again reintroduce everybody to Annie who's going to be helping me out this morning. So you see us, now we're on live TV, all right? So you're going to help me with my town names, mm -hmm. right? All right, so you want to go ahead and just tell these people good morning? Um, good morning to Arthur and Li watching in Little Rock, mm -hmm. Rachel and Russellville, and Michael and Ward. That is yeah! Yeah! Bringing it strong here this morning. Michael, you better be happy. You get some cool uh, hometown. A little going to get another fist pound. But that's how it's done right here on KRK4 today. We got a lot more Annie coming up later in the show. For now, we're about to go to break. See you in a little bit. KARK4 News is sponsored by MarkMcClartyFord.com. Sometimes, bipolar 1 disorder can make you feel unstoppable. But mania, such as unusual changes in your mood, activity, or energy levels, can leave you on shaky ground. Help take control by asking about your treatment options. Vralar is approved for the acute treatment of manic or mixed episodes of bipolar 1 disorder in adults. Clinical studies showed that Vralar reduced overall manic symptoms. Vralar should not be used in elderly patients with dementia due to increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor about fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, which may mean a life-threatening reaction, or uncontrollable muscle movements, which may be permanent. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. High cholesterol and weight gain, high blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, decreased white blood cells, which can be fatal, dizziness upon standing, falls, seizures, impaired judgment, heat sensitivity, and trouble swallowing may occur. You're more than just your bipolar one. Ask your doctor about Freylar. Come in now for huge summer savings at Ferguson's Furniture. Ferguson's Furniture has one of Arkansas's largest selections of bedroom furniture. Buy now your choice of king or queen for only $7.49. Save an amazing 60% on this six-piece Pennsylvania house bedroom set. Choice of three colors and get it with no interest. But hurry, the chance to save thousands in soon. Only at Ferguson's Furniture next to Walmart and Benton. Cavenders has the gifts Dad wants on sale now. Buy two area tech polo shirts and get one free. Save on his favorite high quality area jeans now 10 bucks off. You'll find a huge selection of area boots on sale for 10, 15, or 20 bucks off. Get new area Spitfire casual shoes for only $79.99. Or save 10 bucks on hard work and area work boots. Cavenders, Dad's favorite boot store. Good morning, everybody. Your time right now is uh, 6.14. Time for your weather on the force. 
And uh, hey, we've got a great shot this morning. This is coming out of eastern side of North Little Rock, out Faulkner Lake Road. Got those fields out there close to the Arkansas River and those Oxbow Lakes. Just a gorgeous morning. I actually think this is the old golf course out there at Faulkner Lake. You'll notice those little dunes, little hills. I think it's the old North, is it, no, not North Pines, but I think it's just, I can't remember the name of it. But I think it's the old golf course out there. So gorgeous shot there this morning from Faulkner Lake Road. Well, hey, Trav's in town tonight. 86 degrees for that first pitch at 710. Seventh inning stretch down to 78 degrees. It'd be a little warm for that first pitch, but very comfortable weather throughout the rest of the game. It is 69 degrees in Little Rock this morning, 66 in Pine Bluff. Clinton, you're at 63. Batesville, 65. And at Searcy, it is 67 degrees. Oh, yeah, we're going to see the lower 90s today. Little Rock hasn't yet to hit those 90s this week, but we should today. And then tonight, drop off in the 70s. And eventually, even I think we'll drop into the upper 60s overnight. Now, thunderstorms not in our forecast today. And I don't really think anybody in Arkansas is going to get any thunderstorms today, but maybe over the next few days we could see a thunderstorm or two in west, northwest, or far north Arkansas. Just, I don't think we're going to have any here in Little Rock and in central Arkansas, but you can see some disturbances through Missouri getting close to north Arkansas tonight and into tomorrow, so we could get a pop-up shower or storm there, and more likely to have something on Saturday into northeast Arkansas, but still, central Arkansas looks like we're going to stay pretty dry. 91 is going to be the high today, a south wind of 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. Saturday and Sunday all at 92 degrees. Rain chances not in the forecast until Tuesday when it comes up to 20% then. Wednesday has a 30% chance of rainfall. That's where on the fours. Now Natalie's going to take a look at our morning traffic. A uh, quick look at what's going on in that crane team traffic camera. We're actually looking on I-30 and baseline in this one, but overall traffic moving smoothly in this area this morning and across most of central Arkansas. All is green on our map, so that's good news right there. But hey, watch your speed for today. Little Rock Riverfront Drive, North Little Rock on Remount Road. I'm going to take another look at those roads. Coming up here in just a bit. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm setting a really bad idea up. Okay, so <laughs> let me come back over here. I'll tell the people what I was doing here in just a second. Bad idea or good idea before we start? Um, probably probably a bad, bad idea. idea. Yeah, probably so a bad idea. You might want to stay around because <laughs> I'm probably going to do it. But uh, very excited here. We have Brendan in here this morning talking about mm -hmm. can Canacuck. Yeah. Am I saying that right? Yes, Canacuck. Yeah, yeah, so tell us all about it. Yeah, so Canacuck is uh, one of the premier uh, Christian sports summer camps in the country. And uh, we travel around to different places and put on these day camps called Camp Out. Mm -hmm. that's, and so uh, tell us, uh, one, if people are interested in it, how can mm -hmm. they sign up for it? Yeah, so if you go to our website, that's canacuck.com. Mm -hmm. It's K-A-N-A-K-U-K.com. And you can go there and you can find out all about our different camps we have. We have six overnight camps and five traveling day camps, which one is in Little Rock this week. Oh, man, I'm seeing some video right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like these kids are having an absolute blast. I'm pretty sure I saw a foam party. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean the sports, activities, I mean, mm -hmm. just an unbelievable time. How is it important for these kids during the summer to get out not only have a good time but you know they meet people they probably necessarily won't meet every day yeah and socialize ab absolutely mm -hmm. so two things we really love kids to be able to unplug and recharge mm -hmm. at summer camp but then also uh, we feel like they're going to develop uh, life lasting relationships at Canacuck and so uh, we love to have kids come and uh, join our summer camps to be able to join those fun experiences. Yeah, love it. So you were telling me something about you're making a comeback. Yeah, so this summer, right now, we're at Little Rock Christian this week. Yep. Uh, but we're coming back to Pulaski Heights United Methodist July 30th mm -hmm. through August 3rd. And we're really excited to be able to come back for that. All right, got to love it. And you're going to have an opportunity to get out there and do a lot of cool activities. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite things to do, like low key, is like shoot and <laughs> throwing arrows. All right, so this is what is probably not a good idea. All right. Oh, uh, is my mic? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, here, hold on one second. You know, DJ just being DJ, just stand by. Here we go. All right, here goes my microphone. So the good thing about this, my boss is out of town. All right, oh, All right. so uh, I'm hoping that this doesn't go through the chair. So I don't know if we can get a shot of my chair over here. Just a second, I don't know if we can get a, I need somebody. There it is. All right, you ready for this? There's a little chair over there. Let's see if it goes through it. If it goes through it, Aaron, it's on your tab. All right, three, two. I hope I don't miss. All right, is that, does it look good? Oh, you might be a little to the right. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm just going for it. Oh! oh no hole? No hole. Nobody's hurt. I'm not going to lie. I was aiming for the left one. <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally missed that. Hey, man. Thanks so oh, much. Uh, hey, kids get to sign up and have fun like this. Probably in a lot 
safer Safe, environment. Yes, huh? much safer. Okay, much look, safer. Make sure y'all sign up. This information will be on our Facebook page and our website at krk.com as well. We're about to go to break. When we come back, I guess Pat's gonna have a look at that forecast. <laughs> I need to make sure I didn't put a hole in it. It's Absolutely. gonna come out of my tab. All right. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. KARK 4 News is sponsored by Red River Ram Dodge Chrysler Jeep Fiat. Our lives are filled with things to worry about, but one thing you'll never have to worry about is your car buying experience at McClarty Honda. Because with their legendary low prices on some of America's best-selling cars, you know you're getting a great deal on a new Honda. And since McClarty has one of the largest selections in Arkansas, you'll always get the car, color, and style you want. Experience easy, worry-free car buying at McClarty Honda. Colonel Glenn and McClartyHonda.com. Have you ever caught a glimpse of yourself in a shiny fork and been like, wow, I have it going on today? Because I just caught a glimpse of myself in that fork and, <laughs> wow, I have got it going on today. At Zaxby's, our flavor speaks for itself. Like a Zensation salad, hand-breaded chicken fingers and wonton strips on freshly chopped greens drizzled with honey sesame sauce, served with Asian slaw and a veggie egg roll. Friends, family, flavor. Zaxby's. Am I having a good egg roll day or what? Ignite something. Ignite excitement. Ignite curiosity, adventure, and small moments of beauty. Only the perfect cut unleashes a diamond's power to ignite hearts on fire. Come see us at Cecil's Fine Jewelry. Hi, this is Danny Hips of Phil Wright Auto Flex in Rustville. Come experience why so many people are buying the right way. Give us a chance to earn your business or your next Chevrolet, Buick, or GMC. We will beat any competitor's price on the most popular vehicles on the roads. And let our service department keep your vehicle in perfect operating condition with our certified GM technicians. The safety of your family is most important. Let us help keep them safe while on the road. So let's make that short drive to Russellville or view your complete inventory online at PhilRightAutoplex.com. Phil Wright Auto Flex in Rustville. Right place, right time, right now. Violence has plagued our city far too long. But we can all do our part to help. Anonymous tips can be the break police need to solve a crime. If you see something, say something, you can remain anonymous. Together, we can declare victory over violence. Got a wet crawl space or leaky basement? Mold and mildew can build up and cause serious health problems. Crawl Space Solutions of Arkansas can protect your home and save you energy. Get a free estimate from an expert you can trust. Check us out online at ArkansasCrawlspaceTV.com. 622 is your time on this Thursday morning. Union workers at UPS have voted in favor of a potential strike. The main issue, how the company will expand to offer delivery seven days a week. Tuesday, 90% of union members voted to strike if necessary. UPS and the union are negotiating on several things, including wages, benefits, and work conditions. New data from the Federal Reserve shows Americans have $1.5 trillion in student loan debt. Women hold about two-thirds of the debt, about $900 billion. The average new college graduate owes about $28,000 to $400. Two congressional proposals could affect loan payments. Neither have been voted on as of today. New numbers from the medical index show the average health care cost for a family of four is more than $28,000 a year. The estimate includes inpatient and outpatient services, visits to physicians, and any pharmacy needs. Costs have been increasing at about $100 every month over the last decade. Flying for your summer vacation is going to cost you even more this year. Rising fuel prices, cutting into airline profits may be to blame. It's unclear just how high fares will rise. Experts say the airlines will find ways to add a few bucks to a plane ticket. The city of Conwell will use a grant to replace a bridge destroyed during last year's floods. More than $20,000 in FEMA funds will go toward construction in the bridge in Gatlin Park. It was destroyed between April and May of last year when severe storms and flooding caused damage. Construction should be complete in December. Happening today, bids are going out for the planned road updates near the Benton High School Athletic Complex. Hoover and All Good Streets will see some improvements over the next few months. It's part of a large overlay project impacting seven other roads in the city. 624 on this Thursday, Pat steps in.
All right, good morning, everybody. Got another sunrise What's pick this morning from Melissa happen? Dow in Arkadelphia on my Facebook page. And a gorgeous shot there. A few, uh, probably about 20, 30 minutes before that sun came up. And uh, some clouds in West Arkansas and Southwest Arkansas. But a gorgeous shot there from Melissa. And now that sun, boy, it is blazing bright here in Little Rock. Temperatures should be on the rise. We're currently sitting at 69 degrees in Little Rock. With the calm wind, we're going to have a generally a southeast or south wind today around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So Little Rock, we're at 69 degrees. Pine Bluff, 66. Monticello, 67. It's also 67 this morning in Hot Springs. So we start off here in the upper 60s. By lunchtime, we'll be up to 86, then 91 at 5 o'clock this afternoon, all with a sunny to mostly sunny sky. But the dew points, now they're hanging out in those mid to upper 60s, even Little Rock with a dew point of 67. Hello, yeah, it's got a little on the humid side. We are at least at 65 to 70 degree range this morning. So we're in that humid to very humid range. Basically, we have to get over 70 before we can actually start saying it's very humid. So far west and southwest Arkansas up to Arkadelphia has had some cloud cover this morning, but Little Rock and eastward, it's all generally been sunshine. We're going to see probably a few more clouds this afternoon as these storms in Oklahoma and Kansas kind of move down toward the southeast. But, you know, the HOT is there. It's going to be hot weather for today and really for... Uh, the, this weekend as well. Now, there is a frontal system, but it's actually being pushed farther away as high pressure aloft is just kind of pushing things away from Arkansas. So very little storm activity is possible, although I think some disturbances kind of sneak in and maybe North Arkansas gets a thunderstorm or two tomorrow afternoon and maybe into Saturday, Northeast Arkansas could be standing a little bit better chance of rainfall. Today, though, hey, expect the high temperature to reach 91 degrees with a south wind of 5 to 10 and 92 tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, we get to 93. Rain chances finally in our central Arkansas forecast starting next Tuesday. So if you need to water that yard, you better be doing it pretty soon because it's going to start drying out. That's your weather on the forest. Now here's Natalie with your traffic report. Hey, good morning, everyone. This is a look at what's going on on the Crane Team traffic camera. 67 through Jacksonville. Traffic moving pretty smoothly at this time. Nice start to our morning. So great shot right there as the sun is rising. Driving eastbound, certainly needing those shades. There's a look at our map where everything is green at this time. No significant delays expected. Maybe some folks maybe taking a four-day weekend this weekend. Lots of folks on vacation. I'll have another look at that traffic and We'll have a lot more fun in the last 30 minutes of KRK4 today. Stay with us. KARK4 News is sponsored by Baptist Health. Following the shooting deaths of two Little Rock toddlers, we knew something had to be done. Violence has hurt too many people across our great state. Fox 16 and KARK are combining our efforts in an anti-violence initiative. We'll recognize groups providing solutions and people making a difference. We'll go beyond reporting stories to promote and create events aimed at change. But we can't do it alone. We need your help. Help us declare victory over violence. What's keeping you from taking care of your hip or knee pain? Maybe it's time away from work or family or a painful recovery. Baptist Health's innovative robotic assisted hip or knee replacement surgery is the newest answer. Offering less pain, a shorter hospital stay, and a faster recovery. And it's exclusively at Baptist Health. Call or visit our website today to schedule a consultation with a physician and see how Baptist Health is doing more than ever to keep Arkansas amazing. Success Vision has the best prices in town. The eye doctor next door takes walk-ins. They have the best prices, the best selection, and the best service. I got two pairs of no-line bifocals for only $79. I got two pair of glasses for $39. Plus, they were ready in one hour. Success Vision. It's the real deal. Now that's awesome. You pay for 39 in an hour for less. Come see us today, Success Vision Express. Hey guys, come on in. Hey Troy. Yeah, let me show you around. Wow. You know, as the Acme Brick spokesperson, I get paid in brick. All the brick I want. Solid. What? Too much? To get Acme Brick quality, look for the Acme name. And here's the guest room. Hope you like a firm mattress.
say hello to new low prices and weekly sale prices too, like whole boneless pork loin for $169 a pound. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK for today. Ah, uh, the sun is up. It's a nice, mild morning with temperatures in the 60s, but all that sun's going to make it hot this afternoon. Expect it to reach 91 in Little Rock. A state representative officially announced she's running for Little Rock mayor. And a new presidential approval poll from NBC and the Wall Street Journal. But more importantly, we got some uh, news to get figured out here on the show. All right, so I got a, uh, this is final. All right, after it's said today, it is done. All right, I'm going to ask her two questions. All right, okay. we debate a lot here on the morning show. Mm -hmm. First of all, Yanny or Laurel? Um, I say you say Laurel? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, there we go. All right, I was about to have to get her up off this seat. But no, she's <laughs> with the good team. For some reason, that guy down there hears Yanny. He's a little he's a little messed up in the head, all right? So Laurel... <laughs> Don't you agree with that, Annie? End of the debate. Annie wanted to agree with that. Second question I have for you here this morning, Annie. Well, you can think about it, okay? What is the best Disney movie of all oh. time? Ooh, mm. Okay. Um, yeah, that's hard. That is a hard What's yeah, your favorite? Really What's your favorite question. right now? Um, or of all time. I'm nervous. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah. yeah. You could, yeah. Think about it. Do you need think to about think about it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Think, think about it. Daniel sweated out. This is sweated out. Daniel sweated out. This, this, right, you think about it. Out. this Annie is, no. is joining us from Woo. Forest Park Middle School, going into the mm -hmm. sixth grade. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's gonna be hanging out with us all morning long. She is trying to take DJ's job. Yep. Annie, it's not hard to do. Yeah. Okay. You want to go? I'm gonna go get you some treats. Anything you want. Make sure you pick the right movie. All right. There we go. Local news that matters. Run I think that stinger. I know which one there it is. Run <laughs> that stinger. The Speaker of the Arkansas House is leaving the Capitol for the University of Central Arkansas. Jeremy Gillum will be the school's Director of Governmental Affairs and External Relations. He served in the House since 2011 and a Speaker since 2015. Being able to work with President Dismang on the middle class tax cut is something I'm very proud of. But there are other things, um, you know, being able to work on issues for sign postings uh, to help uh, prevent uh, fetal alcohol syndrome and, and other issues that, that mattered to me personally. Be one of the key components. In His last day in office process. will be a week from tomorrow, June 15th. A House caucus panel will pick someone to serve as the new speaker for the remainder of the year. State Representative Warwick Saban announcing his candidacy for Little Rock mayor. His campaign theme is new ideas, new energy, and real results. Saban joins Frank Scott Jr., Vincent Tolliver, and Baker Curris as the only confirmed candidates. The filing deadline is August 17th. Today, President Trump welcomes the Prime Minister of Japan to the White House. The Japanese leader wants to make sure he and the President are on the same page ahead of Trump's meeting with Kim Jong-un. The two are scheduled to meet next week. President Trump will then go to Canada for the G7 summit. President Trump's job approval rating is rising to 44% among registered voters. That's a 4% jump from April. The 44% matches Ronald Reagan and Barack Obama's rating before both took a tumble after midterm elections. About 42% of voters say they strongly disapprove of Trump's job. A Philadelphia Eagles player answering reporters' questions about President Trump with signs. So this is Malcolm Jenkins, and he held up a series of signs, attempt, written signs, attempting to clarify what the players have been protesting over the past couple of seasons. So there's that sign. When asked about why the Super Bowl champions were uninvited to the White House, he held up that sign you just saw reading, You Aren't Listening. The VA Mission Act is now law signed by President Trump. It expands access to health care for vets, cutting wait times and costs. It also authorizes more health care programs and allows vets to see more private doctors. The VA union believes the bill gives too much power and money to the private sector. The next step is finding the money to pay for it. Right now, investigators in Lebanon, Missouri, are investigating a fire killing five kids on Wednesday. Lebanon is just outside of Springdale. Six people were pulled from the house around 9 yesterday morning. The five kids were pronounced dead at the scene. A woman was airlifted to a hospital. Her condition is unknown at this time. The Conway Fire Department receiving high praise from the Insurance Service Office. The ICO rates CFD in the top 1% of departments in the entire country. The ISO rating looks at three things. 
water availability, emergency communications, and response time and distance. New video shows a unique flow of lava on Hawaii's Big Island. Look at this. This is one of 24 wow. fissures spewing lava from a volcano which began erupting May 3rd. More than 200 homes have been destroyed. At least seven people have been injured. It's 634. Here's Pat. All right, right in. 634 right now. Beautiful sun's coming up this morning. Kill his mic. Kill his mic. Nothing subliminal about that. Choosing the best Disney film of all time. Huh? That and yeah, that's one of the top There you go. Oh, it's yeah. the top one. That's right, Isabella, the top one. 69 degrees right now in Little Rock, and uh, we have a nice clear sky, beautiful sunny sky this morning. Some high clouds in far west and southwest Arkansas coming out of Oklahoma with those storms there north of Oklahoma City. We're going to start off all sunshine and have a really warm day. 86 degrees by lunchtime, then 91, really hot this afternoon. Now, a lot of people in the state yesterday had 90 degree weather. Little Rock officially was not just 89 yesterday. The high temperature in Little Rock. We had 92 in Searcy, 92 in Hot Springs, 91 degrees in Russellville and Camden and Mina both hit 95. Now, no storms in our forecast today, but your crane team weather impact number is going to be a one today and tomorrow. And that's for basically being hot. 69 degrees again right now in Little Rock. Russellville and Hot Springs are 67 over Mina. After hitting 95 tomorrow, it's a cooler 61 degrees. So it's going to ch change again by this afternoon. Mina will likely be hotter than central Arkansas this afternoon. 91 today in Little Rock. Tonight's low, 69 degrees. Tomorrow, the high of 92. And Saturday and Sunday, also at 92. Rain chances not in our central Arkansas forecast until Tuesday of next week. That's your weather on the fours. Now here's Natalie with your morning traffic check. Good morning, everyone. This is a look at what's going on in the crane team traffic camera. I-30 baseline so far, so good across the area. It's been quiet traffic, Ryan, real, uh, tra traffic wise, really throughout the entire morning. Uh, here's a, a quick look at everything green across the natural state currently. So overall, traffic moving pretty smoothly. I'm going to have a look at where you need to watch your speed kind of up here in just a bit. 48 hours away from the Diamond Hogs going on to the Super Regional Action, but first some of the players drafted in the Major League Baseball Draft. We're here with Coach next. And a busy weekend in Fayetteville. Not only are the Diamond Hogs playing for a chance at the College World Se Series in Omaha, but first preparations are being made for a major golf tournament. Details ahead. KARK4 News, brought to you by McClartyHonda.com. At Sonic, you get your slush your way. So pick a flavor, add real fruit, add candy, then add a straw. What does that equal? <sighs> Hang on, I'm not done. Homeowners, if you recently built or remodeled your home and have leftover building materials, the ReStores in Little Rock and North Little Rock need your donations. Maybe you recently had a garage sale or simply want to get rid of unwanted items. The ReStores are your answer. You can drop off your donations at either location or call us at 771-9494 and we'll pick it up. The ReStores also accept clothing, furniture, fixtures, and much more. Call the ReStores today at 771-9494. And remember, all donations are tax deductible. Auctions can be for people that are going through um, uh, tough financial times, uh, bankruptcies, divorces. Uh, sometimes it's a sad time in their life. Sometimes it's a happy time. Sometimes you've got a new job and you need to sell your house in a certain amount of time so you can move and start your life somewhere else. If you're selling your house, we would bring the crowd to your house. And we like to do that because uh, the buyers that come to that auction, uh, they're looking at that house that they're bidding on. Call me, Thomas Blackman. Better auctions are Blackman auctions. It was a dark intersection. He was just a teenager, but it's a time he would never forget. The screeching tires, a vehicle crushed beyond recognition, waking up in the hospital, seriously injured and lucky to be alive. But that young man survived his horrible accident and against the odds, found the strength to recover. It was Brad Hendricks, founder of the Brad Hendricks Law Firm. We're ready for your challenge. We're ready for your call. 
So far, the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery has helped fund more than 275,000 scholarships for students like Yvonne. The moment I realized I received the Arkansas Lottery Scholarship was amazing because growing up in a single parent household with my mom, it just took up a lot of stress off our shoulders. I want to thank the Arkansas Lottery Scholarship for everything that I've received and the help that I've gotten. I owe it all to you guys. This is winning. Congratulations, Yvonne. You earned it. Apply now at scholarships.adhe.edu. This cookie jar shake is like the perfect marriage of Oreo cookies and real ice cream. Now that's a wedding I would kill to go to. Sure, at it now. Should I give a speech? No. I've known ice cream since college. For a limited time, get new real ice cream cookie jar shakes half price after 8 p.m. This is KARK for today. That's a big hog. A 30-foot uh, tall copper and iron razorback will soon stand in Farmington, Arkansas. It's taken a decade to make. The original idea was to put the hog on roller skates. <laughs> I think that's awesome. To get it to its final location. After second thought, that idea was next. Good R call. Roller skates. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. So let's switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about if you're going to Fayetteville to watch those Diamond Hogs play, you might be out of luck when it comes to looking for a ticket. There's only 125 student tickets left. Tickets uh, to the general public, well, you can imagine, are sold out. Game one of the Super Regional is Saturday at 5.30 with game two Sunday afternoon. And game three, hopefully not, if we just take those first two games. But if necessary, will be Monday. Now, the Hogs need to win two out of those three to go to the College World Series and then be called the Omaha Hogs once again. Now, talking about those baseball players, not a bad showing at all for the Hogs in the MLB draft. A total of 11 players were signed, tying a school record set in 2013. Six players were taken on the final day, including a signee and a verbal commit. Here is the head hog, Coach Dave Van Horn, talking about the draft. It's great for the program. It's, uh, it's exciting for the kids and for coaches, it's a little scary, uh, but uh, happy for them. And you know, these guys work hard from the time they start playing little league ball, and then they get to the point where they get to come to you know, a school like the University of Arkansas and develop and uh, have a chance to sign a professional contract. The Northwest Arkansas Championship just two weeks away. Crews are already working to get the course ready in Northwest Arkansas. Next week's crunch time for everybody involved. The top female golfers in the world will be there in Rogers, Arkansas. Tickets are available. It's a fantastic event for the entire family. I would urge you, if you have not been to the Northwest Arkansas Championship, make sure you make your way there to Pinnacle Country Club. After the break, a hot one coming up this weekend. Any sign of relief? Pat's diving into that forecast. 642 on a Thursday morning. KARK4 News is brought to you by Oak Lawn Gaming. At Oak Lawn Gaming in Hot Springs, we're in for fun. In for an expanded gaming area with more of your favorites and tons of new games. In for Silks Bar and Grill featuring casual dining and refreshing drinks. In for free live music every Friday and Saturday night. And all this fun is close by in Hot Springs National Park. Turn valuable points into big rewards with Oak Lawn Rewards. Sign up today. Are you in? This is just another one of the houses that one of our competitors found. They said that there was a warranty and they would not fulfill it. They did not have any customer service, none. I showed the foreman the problems with these windows that had popped out and cracked the brick. He went and told his boss and he agreed they needed to be fixed. And he said, we're not doing anything about it. If you truly want it done right the first time, don't take any chances. Use Wilson's where you will get the best of the best for less. Tired of sealing your wood, concrete, or masonry? Permaseal's unique process and cutting-edge technology is backed by a 25-year warranty. Unlike top coat sealants that last a year or two, Permaseal is a penetrating sealant that goes past the surface, making it solid and 23% stronger. Just watch. Baking soda has the same pH level as wood and concrete. Mixed with our specialized sealant, it becomes completely solid in only seconds. Environmentally safe products done on time and on budget. Free estimates with no obligation. Call Permaseal today and get 25% off. It's our super summer sale at Family Leisure. Pools from $8.99. Huge in-stock selection of high-quality patio furniture. Spas from $17.99. Summer sale going on now at Family Leisure. Watch KARK4. Local news that matters. All right, good morning, everybody. Almost 644, 643 right now. I've stolen DJ's uh, assistant this morning because, you know, DJ, I'm going on vacation, and I need somebody to fill in for me. Okay. 
So, Annie, you think you want to fill in for me while I'm gone on vacation? You do the weather? You do the weather. 50 an hour. How much? 50 an hour. $50 an hour. Yep. Wow, that's good pay. <laughs> 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 but that only worked about five minutes, so there you go. <laughs> all right, so, so Annie's going to give you your, your forecast for the Travs game tonight, all right? So throw up the graphic and Annie tell them what's going to be tonight. The first pitch is 7 out of 10, 80, 86 degrees, and winds are 5.5. 5. And uh, do you think, you think that's jacket weather tonight? Uh, no. No, no, it's not jacket weather at all. Unless you're Isabella, right? Then you need a jacket. Is that how it works? What? She said I didn't say it. So Annie said that you'd need a jacket tonight if you're going to the ball game. Annie. If your name is Isabella. I want to bring one. <laughs> Annie, thanks so much. All right, she'll be here tomorrow morning. Uh, shift starts at 4 a.m., by the way, Annie, so don't be late. All right. <laughs> We're looking at temperatures this morning in the upper 60s. 69 right now in Little Rock. Russellville and Hot Springs at 67 degrees. Searcy 67 and Monticello is at 67 as well. So it's a nice start this morning. Temperatures in those 60s, but look at this. By 8 o'clock, we're already going to be in the mid-70s. It's a very fast warm-up. By 10 o'clock, mid-80s. So we'll even see the lower 90s this afternoon. It's going to be... A hot afternoon. We've had hot afternoons, it seems like, every day this week, but it hasn't been really, really humid. But that's going to start changing, though, over the weekend. The warm front is through the state, hot air is here, and the humidity is going to be creeping up, too. And maybe a thunderstorm chance or two over the next couple of days in far west, northwest, or far north Arkansas. But in central Arkansas, I just don't think it's going to be in the cards for us. Into Saturday, though, there probably is a much better chance of rainfall into northeast Arkansas. But again, I think that stays right out of central Arkansas. 91 will be our high temperature today, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, all at 92, 93 early next week, and then rain chances finally in our forecast starting around Tuesday. That's Will on the Fours. Now, Natalie with your morning traffic check. Good morning, everyone. Creighton Team traffic camera 67 through Jacksonville showing traffic again moving smoothly. Nice start to our morning there. All is green on our map, so looking pretty good if you're heading out and about this morning across Little Rock. Not much in the way of delays currently. I'm sure that uh, north interchange starting to see some moderate delays, but watch your speed out for this morning, Little Rock Riverfront Drive and in North Little Rock on Remount Road. All right, Natalie, thanks. This morning, the Arkansas Supreme Court will hear arguments on medical marijuana licenses. Earlier this year, a Pulaski County judge ruled the scoring process for cultivation facility applications unconstitutional. The Medical Marijuana Commission has stopped reviewing applications for dispensaries because of this ruling. More than 5,300 Arkansans have been certified to buy medical marijuana. A change of plea hearing today for lobbyists linked to three former state lawmakers, all connected, all convicted in bribery cases. In February, Rusty Cranford pleaded not guilty to bribery charges in Missouri. Cranford is accused of giving kickbacks to lawmakers in return for state grants. The hearing is 10 o'clock this morning. Today, the Pope County Quorum Court will vote on emergency service money. This for new cardiac monitors. They would cost about $254,000. The money was approved by the Budget Committee earlier this week. The meeting starts at 5. This morning, three people are recovering after a wreck that possibly started as street racing. 12-year-old Anaya Dilworth died when the wreck happened on Riverfront Drive in North Little Rock yesterday. Police say it's a miracle more people weren't killed or seriously injured, considering the circumstances. This is the first street racing wreck police have investigated in at least five years. A warning from Sherwood police, panhandlers are claiming to be with a New Orleans-based church. It's not true. Photos show men with buckets at several intersections claiming to be with New Life Church. The New Life Church in Cabot is not affiliated with this group. Exactly, because they're in the middle of the roads. Like, yeah. once they stop, they're going in the middle of the road. And you got traffic coming back and forth. So you got people kind of dodging. They were also seen in Jacksonville and Cabot. Panhandling is federally protected as freedom of speech. A Springdale man will spend eight years in jail for child pornography. 29-year-old Matthew Anglin was arrested in December of 2016. He uploaded more than 150 pictures of a child pornography to a cloud storage site. Anglin will also have 10 years of probation once he's released from jail. The city of Mountainburg is rallying behind a canine officer who needs surgery. Duke has a torn CCL in his leg. The surgery costs about $2,800. More than half has already been raised. Duke was a gift to the department through the Animal Farm Foundation. A dead alligator and three sharks have been found in Saline County. The gator's tail was cut off. Now, it's worth noting, 
the tail meat can be used as food. However, it is illegal to kill a gator without a permit. Arkansas Game and Fish is investigating this. A baseball teenager who suffered a life-threatening injury is alive today thanks to the police officers who saved him. The teen's girlfriend called 911 after the 17-year-old accidentally stabbed himself in the leg while putting his knife back into a sheath. He severed an artery and would have died. But it's a large artery. You know, you're looking at pumping it all out fairly quick rate. The teenager was taken to the hospital where he underwent surgery and we're told he's recovering. Facebook is partnering with Network News to battle the spread of fake news. A new shows on Facebook watch video service will be hosted by Anderson Cooper, Shepard Smith, and Jorge Ramos of Univision. The social network is paying news organizations to produce the shows. It should launch in the coming months. And coming up, more on the president's new NBC approval poll. Here's Hoda with a preview. Good morning. Good morning. Coming up on today, I an emotional family reunion for Alice Johnson, the great grandmother whose life sentence was just commuted by President Trump. This after his meeting with Kim Kardashian West. Well, this morning, Alice will join us live along with her daughter. Also, I had the latest overnight on the investigation into the death of designer Kate Spade. Her husband's speaking out for the first time. We'll hear from him. Got those stories plus the science of friendship. Jenna and one of her closest friends have their brains scanned to find out what it is that makes certain people click when we get started on a Thursday morning here on Today. All right, so uh, Annie's here. I told her she can't say anything yet, but guys, I do have something for you. We got a top three. Oh. And Pat Walker, Pat Walker, we're still alive, Pat. So uh, let's go ahead and pull up her graphic now, her top three. Lion King, oh. Peter Pan, and Princess and the Frog, right? Yeah. So that's our top three. We're gonna find out after the break what is the greatest Disney movie of all time? Because Annie says so. And also, Terry, thank you for watching Merleton, Elizabeth, and Lone Oak, and Randy. I bet you're a Lion general, King like fan as well. We'll find that out here in just a second. See you in a little bit. KARK4 News is sponsored by Hennard Utility Products. Take on your toughest jobs with field-proven Kubota hay tools from Hennard Utility Products. Get financing as low as 0% APR for up to 84 months on select Kubota hay tools. Meet the demands of your farm with hay balers, tethers, and rakes. Get yours today at Hennard Utility Products in Searcy. After a car wreck, why should you call Rainwater Holton Sexton? Results. A car wreck can cause problems that last a lifetime. Calling a lawyer can make a world of difference. I know because we've helped thousands of people get results and peace of mind. At Rainwater Holt in Sexton, we can't change what happened, but we can change what happens next. We're Rainwater Holt in Sexton. Let us help you weather the storm. We've all been there. Gridlock. But this is the 2018 Nissan Rogue. It's got Pro Pilot Assist and can stop and start on its own to help keep your distance from that car ahead and can help keep you centered in your lane. Get 0% financing for 60 months on every model or get a low $199 per month lease on road. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Right now at Ashley Home Store, enjoy huge savings store-wide on our wide selection of styles. Find an incredible deal on this sofa, just $2.98. Save on queen beds, just $3.98. And get the best price now on this dining room, just $3.88. Or get no interest for up to 72 months. Just like summer, these amazing prices won't last forever. Hurry in today to Ashley Home Store. This is home. Shop now at ashleyhomestore.com. Take on your toughest jobs with field-proven Kubota hay tools from Hennard Utility Products. Get financing as low as 0% APR for up to 84 months on select Kubota hay tools. Meet the demands of your farm with hay balers, tethers, and rakes. Get yours today at Hennard Utility Products in Searcy. Three, almost 6.54, and look at this, a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Uh, across Little Rock, we're looking from Chenal Mountain toward Pinnacle Mountain, the Arkansas River right there. It looks like a little patchy fog over the Arkansas River and a little bit of haze. That's saying it's a humid morning. That dew point is 67, so we're getting into that really humid rain. So it's humid. It's not overly humid, but it's, it's starting to really creep up there. 69 degrees, our current temperature in Little Rock. 66 in Pine Bluff. 
Russellville and Hot Springs are both 67. Out in Mina, it's now 63. Batesville, 65. Camden, you're at 64 degrees. So we're going to start off here in the upper 60s, but by lunchtime, be up to 86. And then 91 at 5 o'clock this afternoon. It should be a hot one. And the humidity, it's this week we've been looking at dew points in the, in the morning hours in the mid 60s from Little Rock down south. And North Arkansas, we've had lower 60s and a lot of upper 50s. Well, this morning, there are no more upper 50s. So that's a sign that the moisture contents really have increased across the entire state. So most of us are actually now at least in this humid range of a dew point of at least 65. You know, earlier this week, we we're down here noticeable to dry in the lower range. Now it's creeped up to here and over the weekend, it's going to creep up to the very humid range. So yeah, it's going to get more humid. Thunderstorms today off toward the west in Oklahoma and Kansas. I don't necessarily think we'll have really any in Arkansas. Might get one in some parts of west Arkansas this afternoon. Really small chance, about, I'd give it a 7% chance. I mean, it's that low. And then tomorrow, maybe North Arkansas has about a 30% chance of a shower storm. Central Arkansas still have nothing, less than 20%. And then into Saturday, still not enough of a rain chance in Central Arkansas to put it into the forecast. But I'm going to tell you, Northeast Arkansas, I think we do have a chance of a thunderstorm or two uh, on Saturday afternoon. Today, 91 is going to be our high temperature, and then we're just going to keep getting hotter. 92 Saturday, Sunday, and, and Monday. Uh, finally up to 93 on Monday. The rain chances in here starting up on next Tuesday and into Wednesday. That's your word on the fours. Now that is going to take a look at our traffic real quick. Here's a look at what's going on on that cream team traffic camera. I 30 baseline showing again smooth conditions out there. Uh, our cameras are down this morning. They're having technical difficulties, but they've been keeping us posted on Twitter. And as of right now, no significant updates as far as uh, traffic goes. But watch your speed today. Little Rock Riverfront Drive and in North Little Rock on Remount Road. All right, so um, I guess you took your offer to heart. Yeah, yeah no, she's, she's, she's taking your job. <laughs> so Annie's here this morning, and we asked her the question that's been debated on this news desk for some time now, and you're already off to a great start because you don't even have Aaron's choice up on, <laughs> which I think was actually a good choice. You're, are you Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. yeah that's, that's good. I it's give a good you Annie. Yeah, that's how, a good How one. could you not have Beauty and the Beast in there? No. So it is what it is. I, yeah. like, I like your choices, though. I you do went, too. like, old school with Peter yeah. Pan, yeah. too. Yeah. But, uh... I'm nervous, man. This is like we had a lot riding over here. So I think uh, I know what it's going to be. You think you know what it is? Yeah. What do you think it is? I think it's going to be the Princess and the Frog. You think so? Oh, well, we'll find out. So you want to go ahead and tell us uh, what it is? You can throw in Moana now if you want. No, no. Hey, yeah. The top three. Frozen. Okay hey, whoa, 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 whoa. We got rules. Remind All everybody right. the top three. Top three are Princess and the Frog. You can see it right there on your screen. We have Peter Pan. That's great. And uh, we have the Lion King. Look at that crew up there. Look how they look like so friendly. You know, Rafiki and Mufasa and Simba. Yeah. Annie. Yeah. What What's do you think? One? What's number one? Um, I think it's going to be Lion King. Oh! oh! <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Aaron's done for the day. Do we have that music yes. queued up in the <laughs> back? Thanks for being here. Yes, yes. Don't shake his hand. She's don't hard. No, She's hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't shake it. Yes, yeah, we're going to give this girl $100 an hour. All right. You're taking a, a look at your new crew right here on Karakay for today. Andy's going to be subbing in for Aaron. We have a new seat. Yeah, you want to go take his seat? Yeah, go take his seat. How about that? There you go. Pat, get yours. All right. Yeah. There we go. Oh, now we're cooking. Uh -huh. How about that? That's a good looking team right there. And uh, I guess for all of you out there today, um, words of encouragement for today. Uh, Akuna Matata. There you go. Mm. Akuna Matata. expeditions and backyard campouts. We have you covered. Harps, hometown fresh. The lab's in the store. I got my glasses in a few hours. Why doesn't everybody do this? I walked in and out with my glasses an hour later. Just say no to waiting days for glasses. I watched them make my glasses in the store. I love saving money and time. At Success Vision, I got great prices and my glasses in the same day. Why doesn't